Hello friends, my name is Tofik and you're watching my channel Graphics 10. So in this video, I'm going to tell you how to use the perspective grid tool in Adobe Illustrator. So let's get right into it. So once we click on the perspective grid tool, we will get this view. So this view consists of three grids. So this one is the left grid. This one is the right grid and the remaining grid, which is at the bottom is called as the horizontal grid. And if you can see this little widget over here at the top, this using this, we can select the required or desired grid. We also have shortcut keys for each grid, like for left grid, there is one for horizontal two and the right grid, the shortcut key is three. And for some reason, let's say if you are not able to see the widget, you can simply double click on this particular icon and make sure that this option is turned on so if this is turned off then you won't be able to see the widget then double click turn this option on show active plane widget and you can I again you can choose which side do you want this widget top right left bottom maybe so I will keep it as it is at the top left side now uh, let's say if you want to reset the view you can simply go to view perspective grid and two point perspective which is the most used uh, view the two point perspective view so the view will be reset so if you want different views we can go to perspective one point perspective which looks like this again if you go to perspective grid three point perspective which looks something like this but as i said earlier view perspective grid the two point perspective is the most used view. So how to draw on these grids or planes? So let's say if I want to draw on the left grid. So first we have to select the left grid. So I have selected the left grid using this widget and choose any shape that you want. I will choose the rectangle tool and simply draw. So it will be snapped to this grid. I will change the color so that you will understand properly. Let's say I'll choose this color. So as you can see, it has drawn along the left grid. If I want to draw along the right grid, then click first select perspective grid, select the right grid and draw. I will change the color along the right grid like this. So it's very easy to draw along the grids. And finally, if you want to draw along the horizontal grid, you can similarly, you can select the horizontal grid like this and you can draw along the horizontal grid so i will remove this but the thing is if you want to draw text along the grids you can you cannot directly draw the text you need to use the perspective selection tool so let's see if i had write down any text so i will write down perspective perspective so as you can see if I choose the left grid so it won't be drawn along the left grid so we have to use the perspective selection tool and remember once we use the perspective selection tool the text will be converted to outlines so once we use the perspective selection tool we cannot alter the spelling because it is converted into outline the text is converted into outlines so something like that we can use the perspective selection tool to draw any text along any grid that we want so like this we can draw any text using the perspective selection tool similarly if you want to add any image into perspective we cannot do it directly so we have to draw I will show you how taken an image so I'll copy this copy paste so if I choose right grid so it doesn't snap to the grid so what we have to do is we have to draw a shape along the grid then we I will change the color then we have to put the image behind the shape so if, if the image is ahead of the 
ahead of the shape then it won't work so we have to put the shape put the image behind the shape so go to object envelope make with top object so it will be it will be snapped along the grid so it will look something like this so again uh, if you want to add image into perspective we have to use the object envelope distort and make with top object and if you want to add text into perspective we need to use the perspective selection tool so this is how we can use the perspective grid tool and we can also create some mockups using this particular tool and remember if you want to reset you change the setting and if you want to reset we can go to simply go to view perspective grid and two point perspective and click so it will be reset so this is how we can use the perspective grid tool in adobe illustrator so that's it for this video if you find this video useful keep, please give this video a like and subscribe to my channel i will see you in the next video until then bye bye and cheers